mention, we believe the missing link is OCM. So let's start with what change management is not. We are all familiar with the PIMBOX project change control. I carried around the PIMBOX in my purse for probably four years while I was setting the test. So I hope you guys are all familiar with it. And I, so in the PIMBOX project change control, we identify what the changes are. These are typically stemmed from issues and risk. We document the change in our change log. We submit approval to the change board via a change request, and then we wait for our change request to be approved or declined. And then based on the outcome, we baseline our project and we move on. So I bet that's how most of us think about change from a PM perspective. So let's open up our lens and talk about change from a broader perspective. And that is the people side of change. So as Drew mentioned a little bit earlier, Organizational change management focuses on the people side of change. Think of it this way. If your project is going to change a person's location, process, system or tool, job role, mindset, reporting structure, compensation or behavior, that is going to affect the person. So then we also have to think about, are they ready, willing and able to take on this new change? So it goes beyond the project deliverables. It's focused again on the people side of change. 